2026 will be a landmark year for the development of military small unit technology, and the line between a soldier and a machine is blurring faster than ever. The US military isn't just issuing new gear, it's building a new kind of soldier by fusing them with technology. And this isn't about one magic gadget, it's about creating a single, connected ecosystem with the soldier at the center. So what does this next generation soldier actually look like? Today we're going to go through six different technologies that are making it all happen, from rifles that simplify long-range shots to AI that gives soldiers a godlike view of the battlefield. This is the future of warfare, and it's arriving now. First up is the foundation of this transformation, the Next Gen Squad Weapon System, or NGSW. This isn't just another rifle, it's a massive jump in infantry firepower. The long-serving M4 carbine and M249 saw are being replaced by the Sig Sauer XM7 rifle and XM250 automatic rifle. The big deal here is the new 6.8mm round. It's designed to defeat modern body armor at ranges where the old 5.56 would fail. Fielding to units like the 101st Airborne Division is already happening, with ongoing upgrades and a focus on special operations and Pacific-oriented units through 2025 and 2026. But the revolution isn't just the bullet. It's the XM157 fire control system, developed by Vortex Optics. This isn't actually just a scope, it's, it's actually a computerized targeting system. It has a laser rangefinder, a ballistics calculator, and atmospheric sensors all in one unit. And with one button press, a soldier can range a target, and the optic instantly displays an adjusted aiming point. It turns complex long-range shots into a simple point-and-shoot process, which dramatically increases lethality. The second thing to keep your eye on in 2026 is the further development of AI-powered mixed-reality headsets. The Army's previous IVAS program has evolved into the Soldier Born Mission Command, or SBMC, program. In late 2025, companies like Anduril and Rivet won major contracts to rapidly prototype these systems. The goal is to create a fused digital awareness system that acts like an AI teammate. And this isn't just about better night vision. It pulls data from every sensor on the battlefield, like drones, ground sensors, and other soldiers, and it fuses it into one clear picture for a soldier to see. With these systems, soldiers can see friendly troops as blue icons overlaid on their vision, and the system uses AI to track hidden threats, displaying their predicted locations on the heads-up display. This tech drastically reduces a soldier's cognitive load, letting them focus on the fight instead of deciphering confusing radio chatter. It effectively turns a single soldier into a walking command post, which is a key part of the Army's strategy to build fewer, but far more capable warfighters. The third is soldier-born drone swarms. The war in Ukraine has proven that small, lethal drones dominate the sky, with drones inflicting an estimated 60-80% to 80 of all infantry casualties in the Russian-Ukraine conflict. The U.S. Army's response, driven by the Pentagon's Replicator Initiative, is to give the same power directly to its infantry. This isn't a specialist flying a large drone, this is about soldiers pulling swarms of cheap, autonomous drones from their backpacks for reconnaissance or attack. And this is where the pieces start to connect. The SBMC helmet systems are being designed to control these drones, so a soldier can simply look at a building, tap it on their display, and task a loitering munition to strike it. This capability turns every infantryman into their own fire support coordinator, giving them the power to see over the next ridgeline and deliver a precision strike in only seconds. The next tech to keep an eye on is exoskeletons, because all of this other new tech is great, but it is also heavy. To handle the extra weight, the Army is taking a serious look at both passive and powered exoskeletons. So while a full Iron Man suit is still science fiction, practical suits focused on endurance are becoming a reality. Companies like Lockheed Martin are developing systems that can significantly reduce soldier fatigue. Passive exoskeletons use mechanical supports to help redistribute the weight of heavy gear like body armor and the new XM250. Powered systems are being tested for logistics, allowing one person to lift up to 90 kilograms with relative ease. So for 2026, the thing to watch is how the Army's Office for Soldier Equipment, the PEO soldier, integrates these systems. As the quote, super soldier kit 
gets heavier with optics, computers, and batteries, exoskeletons will shift from being a luxury to a necessity for maintaining speed and preventing injuries. This technology still has a very, very long way to go before it would be deployed, but it's an interesting technology to keep an eye on. The fifth pillar to keep an eye on for 2026 uses the network to give the squad its own on-demand, beyond-line-of-sight firepower. The concept is called the Precision Grenadier. So while the XM-157 fire control on the rifle does not program grenades itself, its real power is in its networking capability known as intra-soldier wireless. The vision is to link targeting data across the entire squad. So if you'll imagine for a second a soldier using a small drone that spots an enemy squad hiding behind a building, that soldier designates the target on their display, and that targeting data is then instantly transmitted to a grenadier in the squad. The grenadier's own networked site, now synced with the drone and the first soldier's optic, can calculate the exact trajectory to airburst a grenade directly on top of the enemy's position. This creates an incredibly fast and precise indirect fire capability at the squad level, turning data from the AI helmet and drones into an immediate lethal effect. The sixth and final pillar of all of this is about survival. When anyone on the battlefield can be a drone operator, every soldier needs to be their own air defense system. And this is a top priority right now with the Department of Defense's fiscal year 2026 budget requesting over $3 billion for counter drone capabilities. This effort is being pushed all the way down to the individual soldier with wearable and man-portable systems. And some companies offer wearable sensors that constantly scan for drone control signals, giving a soldier a silent vibration alert. For taking soldiers down, there are portable jammers that disrupt their control links, forcing them to land. And again, integration here is everything. The goal is to feed threat data from the personal detectors directly to the soldier's heads-up display, providing an instant visual cue of a nearby drone, with the drone-filled battlefield being a guarantee now, ensuring this high-tech soldier can survive is the number one priority. But the most important part about all of this is that none of this tech works in isolation. They're designed to be a single cohesive ecosystem, and in terms of research and development, it will likely be a very long time before we see them actively deployed. The rifle talks to the helmet, and the helmet talks to the drone, and the soldier is the hub tying it all together. The strategy from the U.S. military is clear. It's betting on creating fewer soldiers who are exponentially more capable. It's a really big shift from prioritizing mass to prioritizing integrated lethality. So by the end of 2026, with these systems being prototyped and fielded, we'll be getting our first real look at this new technologically fused warrior. Out of all of these, what do you think is the most game-changing technology on this list? And is this strategy of making a, quote, super soldier the right one to maintain a military edge? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.